Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my channel, I'm Jam Sam, and today we're getting into another aggro deck, again in the Boros Colors. It's actually very similar to the last deck we played, which was a uh, Celebration deck, which we'll talk about later. But today we're focusing on killing the Fey Blooded, which is a 3 mana 2-2 two -two legendary creature human fairy. It has double strike. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero oh for each aura and equipment attached to Kellen, the Fey Blooded. Now Kellen also has a adventure called Birthright Boon. It's a one in a white for a sorcery. Search your library for an aura and equipment card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. So you can use the Birthright Boon to find whatever aura or equipment you specifically need for your situation, and then play Kellen, attach those uh, auras and equipment onto him and then pump up the rest of your team. As for the auras and equipment we'll be searching up, a lot of times we're going to be looking for ossification as our removal spell, which also happens to be an aura so works out really well with Birthright Boon. And then we also have Hammer Hand, you can pump up your creature and prevent one of your opponent's creatures from blocking, maybe to get that final damage in. We have Mirian Bane Splitter, which is a uh, equipment that gives your creature plus two plus O, oh, and it also has flash, so you can play it kind of like a combat trick. We have one copy of Rabbit Battery, which not only is it a creature, but you can also use it as an equipment and give Kellen haste. And finally, we have one copy of Draconic Destiny. It's uh, one colorless and two red for a enchantment aura that turns your creature into a dragon, where it gives plus one plus one flying haste and fire breathing to your enchanted creature. And if your enchanted creature would die, you can return Draconic Destiny back to your hand. So it's kind of a recurring aura. If you play Draconic Destiny alongside Godric and, and trigger Celebration, you can actually use Godric's fire breathing to pump up both creatures. Now, let's talk about that last video I released, the Celebration deck. Man, I screwed up. I made that Celebration deck and I had this whole plan of it was going to be the first video I put out since I was back from my business trip and getting into a more regular schedule of putting out videos. And so it was, it was going to be on theme, you know, like, hey, I'm back, celebration, yay. But uh, I was in such a hurry to make the video and put it out that I, I, I totally forgot to do it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do that now. I'm back. Yay. Well, anyway, the rest of the deck, like I said, is very much like the Celebration deck. We have Ash, we have Godric, we have Charming Scoundrel, and we have Monstrous Rage, Kumano to help trigger Celebration. Also added Embrith Veteran, which I talked about in the last video, but hopefully you'll get to see it here in this video. Now, I will confess that this deck was heavily influenced by another content creator's deck called Ash Lizzle, so I'll put a link to her video in the description below. Go ahead and check her channel out if you haven't already. She plays mostly best of three, and her version of the deck, I think, worked out a little bit better than mine. Anyways, um, I think I've done enough talking. Let's find out if Kellen the Fey Blooded is any good in the best of one meta. Here we go. All right, on the play with nothing but reaction, reactionary cards. That's a mulligan. That's better. Um, I don't think we're gonna need hammer hand. Oh crap, I should have played Sundown Path. That's alright. That's alright. Wow. Wow, wee wee wow. Alright, so we're not gonna need that treasure, I don't think. All right, all right. Screw it. I will actually not play into it and just attack and end the turn. Because I just draw lands. That's all I do. Okay. All 
I don't know. I could. But I think they're just holding on to a make disappear. Okay. Let's see what they have. Let's see if they counter this. Yeah, so they're they're holding on to a counter spell. That's what's going on right now. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. So the question is, what do I get? The rabbit battery? Conic Destiny? I think it's the rabbit battery. This is two D. Opponents down to five. With the blast zone. Okay. I think we just do this. Do they have three remo removals? Go for the throw. He's off. Think go here. And then we'll do this. And then we win. On the play with Kumano in hand. It's always a good start. Play Ash next turn. Against they tap fairy. I am very much okay with that. Simic, huh? Simic. Okay. Yeah, we'll just uh, do that. And bring him down to eight.
Which isn't bad. Okay. Well. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> All right, we are on the play. Um, been really lucky. Been on the play majority of the games right now on a roll. You can keep this. Um, here's the thing. Um, it's definitely past my bedtime, so I'm a little bit tired, and uh, I have the exact energy that I would normally have. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on the game as well as, you know, talk about what I'm trying to do here. But, um, I was contemplating whether to go to treasure or not, but I think in this case we are racing against another mono white deck. They tapped out. We got Godric. We've got the Godric. So, can you do 16 damage on your turn 3? You got 7. 11. Okay. But you are tapped out. Ugh, so we're on the draw, and this is kind of an iffy hand. Turn, turn two, veteran. Turn three, Godric. Uh, doesn't seem good. I guess this is better. Do I? Yeah, okay, we'll do it this way. Against uh, Golgari. All right, so we're gonna throw down Ash. Cause, so Ash is legendary. We have another one in hand. It's gonna get uh, cut down or go for the throated, for sure. The fact that it didn't makes me think they might they might have a Liliana. And then they're just gonna... Nope! Not really on. Uh, fight rigging. Okay, so this is not good. This is not good at all. Missing land. Come on, oh. Monsters Rage. Alright, so I'm assuming they have the, the creature. But if we draw land, the Dracon Draconic Destiny might help out. I don't know. They do not have... They don't have it? Tear asunder. Wow. Alright. We're just... We're gonna keep applying pressure with just the two lands that we have. Did draw another forest. Haywire might. Another fight rigging.
taking their time, which makes me feel like they don't have a whole lot going on. We got the land. So what we could do... This way... I think they have to block, right? Go to one. Ooh. They're not having luck with this deck. Okay. That's a game. I mean, assuming they don't have another removal, but... Okay. Well, kind of unfortunate. Very much unfortunate. So, can we get anything that will we could get Oh, crap. All right, yeah. I wanted to... I was thinking I could get ossification. I, sh I should have done that, because ossification can't get the cottage. Right? So I should have gotten the ossification.
<laughs> okay. All right, so on the draw, this is a pretty bad hand, mainly because of the land. Otherwise, would not actually have been that bad. Go ahead, mulligan that. This makes for even worse hand. Okay, against Golgari. Let's see. Maybe ossification would be a good. I really wish Kellen's uh, adventure side was a. Um, instant. But I think in this case, do I go ahead and go for Kamano? I think here I'd do this, right? Just go for ossification. For the moss, moss with dread knight. Okay, I think we go for damage here. I'm assuming they're going to block. Next. Uh, yep. Yes, you can play Kellen next turn. Okay. Go for Kellen here. I have a feeling it's going to get removed. Yep. Then we have either Godric or uh, Ash Party Crasher for next turn. So I think. Gotta be Godric, right? But if I wanna be mana efficient, I can go Ash into Ossification. Right? Ash will be a 3-3, three, three, so. But at the very least. We will exile their underdog, so they get no value out of it. I don't know if that was the right play. It's definitely one for one. And we lost our ossification. Never mind. I really w wanted one more land for... Need one more land for, uh... Godric, though. We could go... Treasure into Go Godric. But I think for now... We ossificate... Glissa. Okay. 
You have one more removal. And the turn. We have another Glissa. I don't think they have removal. attack. Oh. Bad choice, my friend. I guess they could draw a, um... They could draw a removal. Oh, they decided to go for destroying one of the ossifications. Ah, okay. we attack with the Viviac, let's see here, we guarantee 3 damage, that's not good, drawing land here was very critical, or critical, uh, ah, I just realized, I have the camera in the wrong spot the whole time. I apologize. All right. Um. All right. They kill. They kill Godric. Now I think we just pass a turn here. Oh crap, alright. Do we... Oh crap. That was really A good. Fight? And you think you can win? Which is, which is better to keep? The land or Godric? Ossification. Or my ossification. All right, so we can attack for four. Right, we'll get the hero roll, which actually kind of kind of sucks on Godric, right? But four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, we do have it. Woo! Wow. All right, on the draw. And I think this is keepable. Yeah. 
against Orzov. Looks like Orzov. to do here is we're going to create a treasure token and we are going to attack all in the turn because we have a tap mana coming up next turn but virtual loyalty okay no attack Let's see, three, we have two mana. How do we want to do this? I did the math wrong. I thought I was going to have enough mana to use Witch Talker Frenzy, but I'm not. Right? Because I attack with two. Oh no, wait, yeah, yeah, I will. Okay. There we go. They go for the Charming Scoundrel, which is fine with me. Ooh, they just have another one. Spells high. They block. Then we just do a ton of damage. And next turn, I guess Draconic Destiny can fly in for a lot more damage. Little bunny corn. Yeah, okay. Do this. Oh, boy. I'm not overconfident. You're just underwhelmed. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. They have two blockers. Two blockers. One mana short of being able to do something interesting. Hmm. This is three. A 
Okay. Maybe I should have kept Ash, but um, right now, gotta figure out a way to deal six damage. Our swords will cross the cliff. Guards, to me. That seems like a really bad attack. Control. All right, let's see if <sighs> an announcement. That's also annoying, but. That was a really... <sighs> timely uh, invasion of Goblicon. I don't have any good attacks. dead next turn anyway so yeah it was just that was just bad luck we kind of didn't really draw into what we needed one blocker so <laughs> that doesn't do it yeah That concludes the gameplay portion of the video. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Hey, for a deck revolving around Kellen the Fate-Blooded, uh, he didn't show up a whole lot. Yeah, uh, it happens. But yeah, overall, I would say that this deck 
works pretty well in the sense that it, it, it's another aggro deck. There's definitely a lot more improvement that could be done. I don't know. I want to. I want to keep working on this deck and see if I can find a better combination of auras and equipment for Kellen. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I had for this deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stuck around this long. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. And uh, remember, have fun playing Magic. I'll see you next time.